Hello there. I'm Zen. And I'm Floor. And, and we, we are Wired, Wired in Stone. Stone. We just got back into Utah from spending about a month in Northern Cali living in the van. Yes. And as you can see, we're shooting this 11th tutorial for you guys in the van. Um, there's tons of adornments in this van, which brings us to what we're going to be making for you today. This adornment. Whew. A dream catcher, triangular, made from branches and hemp. Yeah. Um, it's really cheap to make. It's really easy. And it makes great gifts cute. or items to sell. And you can hang things from them. And Floor here is going to show you guys very simply and easily how to do it. Right. <laughs> so on a little bit of a larger scale, I'm going to show you from start to finish. So let's begin. All right. So let's get started. What you're going to need are, like I said, some sticks. This is today's stick. You might want to find something like this for like a normal small guy because I think it'll be split into three pieces. But I want to show you on a large scale. This guy's a little wavy, but we'll make that work, okay? I'll show you how to prune that in a second. And uh, then you'll need some hemp. Pretty much a whole spool if you're doing a large one. Scissors. I like to use a more heavy duty scissor for this job. And then a hangy guy for the inside. You know, if you want. All right, so uh, grab your branch and let's cut all of the hangy guys off it, okay? Grab your scissors or pliers. Uh, is that what they would call called? Preferably pruners. <laughs> and then just let's get rid of those things, okay? If you want to sand them off to make it a little more smooth, you can, but I like to just make it fast and easy and effortless. I just finished pruning off my little uh, hangy branches. I do have some nubs, but that's okay. That just adds more personality. So the next part will be to cut these into thirds about. You want them to be pretty even so that you have a normal triangle. Does that look good? Okay, wish me luck. Hold on. We're gonna hope for the best here. One, two, three. Well, cut we'll have to now. clean that up a little. Got a little personality there. And again. Maybe I should do a little cut line first. Do you think that helps? It helps it nowhere to break. <sighs> yes, it does. You just saw me learn a new technique. Scratch along your darn thing and then it'll break cleaner and then you don't have that happen. Okay. I cut my sticks into three almost equal parts and I am going to begin my frame construction. So, I'm going to bring my table out. <laughs> okay, boy. So here we go, you guys. Grab your hemp, your scissors, your sticks. This is where we decide how our triangle will look. Okay. Um, this guy will go here. I think my big, like, uh, big part of the branch will be my top. That looks pretty cute. Okay, that wanted to be that way. And then I think that this guy wants to be that way. All right, so now that you have, now I have my, okay. Now I have my shape chosen. I'm just gonna overlay my branches so that every single one has one end on top of the one next to it and one end underneath. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, I don't ever like to cut this before just because I hate when it's too short and I waste it. So I leave it on my spool. I'm gonna start up at the top and I'm going to wrap around to secure these, but I like to leave a long enough part for a loop at the top to hang. So I'm gonna start with that much hanging. Gonna come here behind these two, come up and around, cross and head the other way. You see what I did there? And then pull it down and around and do it again. Cross and head the other way. I like to do this a few times. You can even swing around and do it around, you know, each one specifically, but I think I'm just going to continue this a few times. Cross it twice. 
So this is creating like a tightening effect that you can pull these and it also looks pretty. That feels secure. Okay. So I'm going to do it one more time. And in the back here is where I'm going to tie it off. So I'm going to cut that enough, long enough to... So I'm going to cut this string long enough to be able to tie it without a problem. Come on, come on. Maybe I'll get out my sharp scissors for that. But. Okay, so in the back, I'm just going to stand this up to do it. And I'm going to try and show you guys. This is hard to do like this. Ta da! I have so now we're going to do that same thing to all three sides, okay? So it's your string. We're going to do it on the other side. Slide up underneath your frame. Make sure they're laying over. Let's see. I like this guy to be on top now. Start on the bottom. Bring it. And you basically cross it once and then cross it again. And that's what creates that little corset type of knot. And sometimes I'll actually go and go back and forth like that so it makes an X. But since I started with it just going the same way, that's how I'm going to do this whole one. Does that make sense? Okay, come to the back. I'm going to flip this one over to show you how to tie the knot this way. And it's basically just like you would tie your shoes. Take this long one that's there. Go underneath. Just make sure that you're getting it as snug as you can without breaking the hemp. And then... Okay. And I gave it a little extra on accident. Like I left enough for a loop, which I didn't need to do for this one. But I'm going to tie a couple extra knots. Yoo-hoo! The frame is ready here on top for your loop. Let's just wrap it around right now so it doesn't get caught up with our other hand. Get it out of the way. And yeah, you if you can twist these around just to adjust them so it looks like you want before you're actually in business. But I think mine is ready. Grab your hemp. Make a nice long beginning section. Oh, please don't not. Yes. Okay. We are going to basically retrace our steps at the top. So start your dream catcher by wrapping your hemp around your base, uh, your frame guy on the left. Try to tie the knot in the back and just double knot it tight. That is going to be the beginning of your dream catcher. Ha this guy is going to move with you throughout the whole thing. So now that your string is attached to your frame, you're basically going to keep it like this until you are done with your design. You just don't want to cut your string and not have enough to finish. So keep it like this, tied to the top, and uh, let's begin. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. Come down, and I'm going to lay this string over top, like make a four. Okay? This goes underneath it, into the hole, and up through it. So what I've created is just this little loop around my branch. I'm going to scoot him up to maybe here. This is how I'm deciding how big my Dreamcatcher design is. Like this size is going to make it look like that. If you do them closer together, it's going to be tight, tighter wrap. And you just do this over and over. So again, lay it, put it under, bring it through, and pull. And then when you get to a corner, rotate, over, under, through it. Let's do this guy. And down. Or maybe even
oh look we have a knot So I am almost done with my whole way around the first time. So what I will need to do is just um, continue on to my next round, which would basically, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm going to be taking this hemp into the loop, into this loop from my first time. So come and watch. We're just gonna keep going. Gonna get messy with this soon. Okay, did you catch that? Tighten it as you go so that it does not get baggy. You don't want it to look like a net. But don't go too tight because then you're not gonna be able to do your next row. We might be able to cut our hemp soon since we kind of know. It's not going to be a, like this whole roll and it's really getting messy. This isn't as big as I thought it would be. I think I'm going to cut this because it's really getting kind of a pain. Uh, I'm going to cut way more than I think I need. Just because I hate running. I think you pretty much get the gist by now. I'm gonna just keep going and then you guys can join me on the very end where we just tie it off and put a hangy guy on there, okay? So just don't get your hemp in a knot. Don't get your hemp in a wad. And just continue until this closes off a bit more. Don't be afraid of it looking ski wampus. It kind of uh, is a good exercise to not be perfect with this. Because we're used to being perfectionists with our wire wrapping, you know? So. I'm just gonna continue. See you guys when I'm a little bit more dream catchered. We're getting pretty close to being done with our little design in here. So, uh, oh, and I'm gonna leave like a pretty big hole because I wanna put a, a bird on it. So, um, really I'm on like my last round almost. Your very last round or two, tighten it. Like pull all these in because you don't want these loop, these baggy. Also these, uh, first row they might slide around like this one and when he's down it's really loose right here so I'm gonna try and make him stay there you know so that's the problems with the tree branches but <laughs> I have plenty of string better problem to have than no not enough Okay, this is my last uh, triangle. This is my last part of the dream catcher, and then I'm gonna attach my my uh, hangy guy. So I'm gonna go with the close up camera so you can see how to do this. First, I'm gonna make sure that this is the front of my dream catcher, and you can tell by looking at these strings and seeing that no knots are on the front. Um, oh, so actually, sorry. I don't know if these even matter, so just take that out, okay? All right, so here we are. I'm gonna connect it right here so it kind of makes the same teardrop shape. And I am going to connect it around these two. If I was to only put it on this string, this guy will slide, and then more will slide in return. So I have to put it over uh, an intersection in order to have it be sturdy. 
So I just put it over that intersection and then pulled it in. Okay. Sorry, lots of string here. Okay, and I'm really just going to kind of go around this intersection from every angle. Just maybe just from both angles. I'm going to make an X. I'm talking a lot. This will all be cut out. Just do that twice. Okay. And now I'm going to move it to the back, turn it over, and this is where I'm going to tie the knot. Okay, so here comes my knot. I'm going to put him over here through the intersection again. I know it's hard to see. And then, so that was like a knot back here. You see that? You see that knot I made? You could do that with your first time over to actually make it a little more secure. I'm trying to get my string. Okay. So I have a knot here that should hold this from sliding, but I'm going to do one more just in case. And just like cinch it with your fingers to get it to be as close to that as you can. Okay? Now I have my charm I want to put on here. Since I'm on the back right now, I know that's going to face forward. Hmm. I think I'm going to take this guy off. Wait, we'll see. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Does that look okay? So I want my bird to hang that low. I'm going to come back up here, come over that same intersection of strings at the top, come back and do another knot. Oh, I want him here. Just coming around again. And then through it. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I just get kind of creative with these knots. I do not not. <laughs> I do not really know knots. I just make it up to see, you know, whatever will, like, work. So I can't tell you, like, what's a square knot or a slip knot. It's like, just make it so it's permanent. <laughs> and if you need to, just drop a bit of super glue on that back knot and it will definitely be permanent. Okay, there's mine. I am going to trim this as close as I can, but not too close, because I know it will come undone, maybe. Oh, and I'm going to trim my other ones that were hanging. Oh, let's make our top. And we need to cut this guy off, too, from the beginning of our dream catcher. I want to take him under here, just to tighten him a little. Okay. Beauty. Alrighty, guys! Look how fun! I like him. What's the front? This is the front. Okay, so now I just have to tie my loop. So he just folds in half, and then you tie a knot down here, and then you have your loop and you can hang it. Hi! Just real quickly, gonna do that. Figure out what kind of knot. I can't really tell you the name because it's a secret. It's my technique. No, just kidding. I just don't know knots. Hello. Show it to me. It's a little skewampy. Just how I like it. Ah. Thanks, guys.
guys for tuning along and making a dream catcher. This beautiful dream catcher, which by the way, if you want to, you can kind of um, tighten your dream catcher. Secure just by it. Rolling these a little any way you want, kind of getting where you want them to be, where it looks pretty. Okay. And then how to secure that would be to just do the same technique, but on the other way on your branches so that they're X'd. Yeah. Anyway, this is going up in the van. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Love Next ya. month's video will be featuring these beauty tiger eyes. So we look forward to sharing that with you. Post photos of this tree branch dream catcher. Hashtag it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See ya. Have a great day.